A linked list is a data structure used in computer science to organize and store data. It consists of a sequence of elements, each of which contains a reference or link to the next element in the sequence. The last element typically has a reference to null, indicating at the end of the list. Representation of linked list. Each node has two components data, the actual data stored in the node. Next, a reference, pointer or link to the next node in the sequence. The last node's next points to null. The linked list is then formed by connecting these nodes. Head points to the first node in the list. Data represents the actual information stored in each node. Next represents the reference to the next node. Let's consider a simple example where linked list contains the elements 1, 2 and 3. In this example, the first node contains the data 1 and points to the next node with the data 2. The second node contains the data 2 and points to the next node with data 3. The third node contains the data 3 and points to the null indicating the end of the list. Traversal through the linked list involves starting from the head and following the next pointers until reaching the end that is null. Each arrow represents the link from the one node to the next. Why use linked list over arrays? The choice between the linked list and arrays depends on the specific requirements and characteristics of the task at hand. Each data structure has its own advantages and disadvantages. Here are some reasons why you might choose linked list over arrays. The first one is dynamic size. Linked list allow for dynamic sizing. They can easily grow or shrink during runtime by allocating or deallocating memory for nodes. In contrast, arrays in many programming languages have fixed size and resizing them can be inefficient. Efficient insertion and deletion. Insertion and deletion can be more efficient in linked list, especially when dealing with the elements in the middle of the list. In arrays, inserting or removing an element may require shifting all subsequent elements. No pre-allocation of memory. Linked list don't require pre-allocation of contiguous block of memory. Each node in linked list can be allocated independently, which can be beneficial in scenarios where memory is fragmented or when the size of the data structure is unpredictable. Constant time insertion or deletion at head. Adding or removing elements at the beginning of the linked list is constant time operation as it only involves updating the head pointer and the next reference of the new first node. In arrays, this operation is typically more expensive as it requires shifting all elements. Ease of implementation. Linker list can be easier to implement in certain cases, especially when dealing with the dynamic data structures. There is no need to worry about resizing and inserting or deleting nodes can be done without the need for complex memory management. However, it's essential to note that linked list also have their own disadvantages compared to arrays. Random access to elements, that is accessing elements by index, is inefficient in linked list. In arrays, direct access is achieved in constant time. But in linked list, you need to traverse the list from the head to the desired position. Memory overhead. Each node in linked list requires additional memory for the next pointer, leading to a higher memory overhead compared to arrays. Cache performance. Arrays have better cache performance due to their contiguous memory allocation, resulting in faster access time. Link list may cause cache misses more frequently, leading to slower access times. The choice between the link list and arrays depends on the specific requirements of the application. For scenarios where dynamic sizing and efficient insertion or deletion are crucial, link list might be better choice. In cases where random access and memory efficiency are more critical, arrays may be more suitable. Let's have a look at the overview of the types of linked list. There are several types of linked list, each with its own variations and use cases. The two primary types are singly linked list and doubly linked list. Here is an overview of these types. In a singly linked list, each node contains data and a reference to the next node in the sequence. The last node typically points to null indicating the end of the list. Traversal is only forward, simple and memory efficient. Doubly linked list. In a doubly linked list, each node contains data and reference to both next and previous nodes in the sequence. Allows for traversal in both forward and backward directions. More memory overhead due to the additional previous pointers. 
easier implementation of certain operations such as deletion of a node given a reference to that node. Circular linked list. In a circular linked list, the last node points back to the first node forming a circle. Useful for applications where it's convenient to start again at the beginning after reaching the end. The traversal continues indefinitely until a specific condition is met. Circular singly linked list is characterized by the last node in the list having a pointer that references the first node. Both circular singly linked list and circular doubly linked list can be implemented. Circular doubly linked list is sophisticated data structure where each node includes pointers to both its preceding and succeeding nodes. Unlike regular doubly linked list, a circular doubly linked list doesn't have any null references within its nodes. Instead, the last node in the list holds the address of the first node, creating a circular structure. Additionally, the first node includes the address of the last node in its previous pointer. These are the some of the common types of linked list. Depending on a specific requirements and constraints, one of type of the linked list may be more suitable than the other for a given application or a problem.